geocaching photo challenge that I completed, got my photo there, um, but today my family and I are headed out southeast of Chattanooga to Red Clay State Historic Park. It is the site of where the Cherokee Indians in 1838 had their last powwow at, at council before being forced onto the Trail of Tears. Um, a lot of cool history there, haven't been there for several years, really excited to go back. There's an earth cache, virtual and traditional, and even a geocaching photo challenge there. So, lots of fun ahead. Come along with my family and I as we explore Red Clay State Historic Park. And here we are, entering Red Clay State Historic Park. Get ready for some fun adventures in history. Here we are in Red Clay State Park. Along a nice trail. Being careful with the poison ivy. That's probably just right there. But um sorry for shaking us. Beautiful trail. Let's see what history we can discover. Because yeah, as you know, I love to have a blast with the past. Okay. Here we are at the bridge, the bridge we came to. There is supposed to be a cache right under here. But, as you can see, there's a lot of poison ivy here. And I just don't feel too super comfortable looking and plowing around and all that green. But anyway, because I'd just rather stay safe. But um, for those of you who would like to know, I believe it's called Red River of Tears number two. Beautiful, beautiful Tennessee fields and mountains. And um, as I said, I'd sure love to have found that traditional cache, but it just didn't work out. Uh, sure it's there, but it did say that the log was very wet and um, the, that the cache needed maintenance. And so, oh well, plus I don't want to get poison ivy. Now, here's some log cabins. And um, I'm going to explore. There's a virtual around here see what I can find. Okay. And guess what I found here. Um, marker says Cherokee Farmstead. Cherokee Farm says very greatly according to the wealth and degree to which a family adopting European ways. Each site however had three basic components. Living area, the cultivated fields, and the woodlands. And goes on to read T tell about how they dig stacks and stones and hoes, or I guess that's what they use. The They grew corn so they could have winter food. And not only for food, but to um, fatten pigs for sale on a competitive market. And that tells about how they changed from a group-oriented harmony to an individual struggle for wealth. And the buildings here represent a Cherokee farmhouse, barn, and corn crib. So let's go. Sorry for that. Let's go explore them. Can't exactly go inside, but we can peer inside at least. 
reminds me of some log cabin and another really cool historical place. Let's see if I can zoom in here. It's kind of dark lighting. A little just loom and different work living things. I think that's loom. Sorry for my not knowing that. Um, let's see what else. And here's the side farmhouse, and looks like a fire pit here. Nice trees here. And I think this would make a perfect spot for a geocache. <laughs> but, um, let's see. I think here is a barn. And also the corn crib I'll show you in a second. No, this is not very professional videos, but I sure have fun showing you the cool places I get to go. Um, let's see. Here. Same over there. Roof. And, um, the corn crib, I believe. Replica, of course is here and um in there so let's see what else we can find okay here we are this is some sleeping huts reconstructed of what the cherokee indians would use at their council meetings just behind me um there's another plaque, which I won't show you, but there's a virtual cache here. It's called Red Clay GC3A5E. As you can see in here, um, anyway, it asks a question. I think it's what, uh, actually, I probably shouldn't tell you the question. You can see that on the cache description yourself. But anyway, I said that's just right here behind me. We, oh, a nice marker there tells a visitor's account of visiting the Cherokee at their council and um, the virtual easy question answer is right on the plaque a uh, very easy smiley to get and um, yay that's a nice virtual I really love all the history at this location so let's keep on exploring Okay, here we are at a um, reconstructed council room, council building of the, uh, the Indians. And the sign right here says, between 1828 and 1830, Georgia passed laws prohibiting the Cherokee from meeting for any purpose other than to sign a treaty giving up their land. The council that had been meeting in the Cherokee capital of New Echota, Georgia, met once in April 8 of 1831 and then moved up here to Red Clay in 1832. Of course, they met here right before the removal in um, 1838. And um, actually, the, um, the, the, chair, the council that I said from um, of New Echota, Georgia, they actually met in, in Alabama of 1831. Sorry for that mistake. But um, actually, I have been to New Echota, Georgia. There's a state historic site there. It's just north of modern-day Calhoun. Unfortunately, the... Um, the park was, that state historic site was closed at the time my dad and I were there. Hopefully we get to go back another time, because I know there's an awesome geo, multi-geocache there. Um, and so anyway, let's, let's actually, um, it says three archaeological investigations in the 1970s had failed to determine exactly where the council house was here at Red Play, but, um, it's this is based on one eyewitness account which describes it as a simple parallelogram formed of logs with open sides with benches for the counselors and also some more recent investigations the sign says says it might have been a lot bigger 
Anyway, let's keep on exploring. I think a really cool earth cache might be up next. And there's the council house. And, um, see there's that earth cache. It's called the Red Clay Blue Hole Spring. Um, created by my good friend Supernate. Actually the one who got me into geocaching. And I'm really excited because this is only my third earth cache. I'm really getting excited how cool they are. Bring you to geologic significantly, geologically significant sites. You get to learn, it's an educational experience. Here is the spring. Let me see if I can zoom up exactly because it is very blue. See that right there? I know it's fuzzy, but um, there is the spring. There's some questions that you have to answer on a nearby plaque and get your picture with it, of course. And here, let me um, right here is the stream, just really beautiful area, and um, I'm really enjoying this educational experience. And here we've come up the um, stairs, the sign, there's where I was just taking a video from, um, here's spring again. And right to the right of me is a nice historical marker. Um, that's where this earth cache coordinates actually are. You um, answer some questions from this marker. And of course I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to spoil this cool earth cache experience. And um, I also just realized to my great delight that um, this is my 240th cache. So that's super, super cool. So that's an earth cache. And I'm going to write down that information that I need and continue exploring Red Clay State Historic Site or Park. <laughs> Bye. And hey, folks, here we are still at the Red Clay State Historic Spot. Um, this is the Eternal Flame. And it says Eternal Flame of the Cherokee Nation. This fire is memorial to those people who suffered and died on the infamous Trail of Tears, also commemorates the reuniting of the Eastern and Western Cherokee Nations here at Red Clay, August 7th, 1837 through April 6, 1984. Okay. Open also just happens to be a geocaching photo challenge here called Eternal Flame, so really had a lot of fun. I just got my photo in front of that, and yay, that's my 28th challenge completed. And we're probably coming to the end of our little journey here at Red Clay. Um, I'm going to go look in the interpretive center. Sure, I, we've sure, I know I've sure enjoyed come exploring this park, getting to know the, learn the Indian history, Cherokee Indian history. Even though it is sad, it's still good to come and learn and remember. So you don't. Anyway, so um, hope you enjoyed coming along, learning some history of Southeast Tennessee and the Cherokee Indians. And um, be sure to check out my blog for more. That would be um, historicalgeocaching.blogspot.com for more history and geocaching stuff. All that, anything history and geocaching will be on there. As well as, I want to check the show notes, there's some nice uh, links to caches and photos and all wonderful stuff. But thank you so much for coming along. It was a lot of fun to have you along. This is Geocaster Tan Photo Book signing up. I'm having a blast with the past.